Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the Dark Forces walkthrough for all the secrets and all the achievements in this game. This video covers the fourth level in the game, which is the research facility. This mission gets a bit harder than the previous missions. It introduces gun turrets on the ceilings in this mission, which deteriorate your health pretty fast. There's quite a lot of enemies in this mission as well, but they're all the same kind of enemies that we faced previously. There is a key card that we're going to need to get to input a code, so there's backtracking. Some of the inside of this research facility can get a little bit confusing as far as the layout. I think it's a little bit longer than some of the previous missions, but it's not too long. This level has five secrets in it, roughly about the same amount of secrets as before, not that many. The objective of this level is to obtain a piece of metal from this research facility, infiltrate the base and find some samples of the metal that they are testing, and then return to the landing area. So pretty standard Dark Forces mission. Like the first one where you have to get the Death Star plans and get to the landing area. And since this is a Imperial base, we're going to have the same enemies as, as we did in some of the previous levels, like the Stormtroopers and Navy Troopers and stuff. Before we go any further here, I'm going to pull out a Thermal Detonator. Because we're going to have a group of enemies right here. I'm going to let them all gather into a group and then throw one thermal detonator right there. Usually that takes out like most of them. Like that, yeah, took out like three of them. We are going to get some more thermal detonators in this level, as well as a new weapon, which is going to be the repeater rifle. We'll be able to get that in this level. If you notice, there's two different ways to go. So normally we would head this way, to progress further through the level. But there is a secret off to the right right here, which isn't really all that well hidden, I don't think. Right when you come through here, I mean, you could see it off to the right right here. I was always able to get the secret without having to use any kind of walkthrough or anything. It's, it's not a really well hidden secret, I don't think. This ledge is pretty small, so you want to be cautious as you make your way around here. And we're going to have some stormtroopers as soon as we get to the end of this ledge. So now we have... Okay, it didn't show up yet. I think it's after we go across here. Let's see. The, sec the, the secret has multiple areas to it as well. Yeah, there we go. Secret's 19%. This is the whole secret right here. And we can actually keep going. There's gonna be more items, there's gonna be some shields and thermal detonators and stuff. Wow, that stormtrooper was waiting right on the edge of the elevator right there for me. Alright, I'm gonna use some more thermal bit. I'm gonna use some more th thermal detonators since... Oh, okay, I didn't even throw that one that far. But he did fly up pretty far. Um, we're gonna be picking up some more thermal detonators here, so feel free to use up some more thermal detonators since, uh, shit, since, oh, I just hit myself right there, since, um, the max that you can carry for the thermal detonators is 50, and I had plenty going into this level right here from the last level, I'm gonna try to hit these guys on the other side over there on that ledge with some thermal detonators. Yeah, there's, there's the thermal detonators right here. Now, there is a hidden Easter egg right here. Let me try to hit this guy. Ha! <laughs> he went down there. Uh, there's a hidden Easter egg straight ahead of me right here. In order to get this Easter egg, you're going to have to enable some codes, but... When you do that in this game, you won't be able to get any achievements. So after putting in the codes, you'll have to restart the level without any codes enabled. But anyways, you want to press escape on PC. I don't know what it is on PlayStation or Xbox. It's probably like the start button. You want to enter these codes right, uh, let's see, right here. LA Pogo, uh, which is the Pogo cheat code. 
and that enables you to pretty much walk over any height. You could clip up walls no matter how high the wall is. And then the other one would be the invincibility because we're going to have to drop down. So LA I'm lame is the code that you want to put in and you put them in here. And then you'll enable them here. So I'll enable this one right there. Height check, toggle and invincibility. That will enable you to see this Easter egg in the game. The Easter egg is going to be off to the right over here. It's over here where we picked up these thermal detonators. You'll notice there's a ledge off to the left over here. That's the ledge from the beginning of the level that we got dropped off on. It's going to be a little bit to the right of that ledge, like straight ahead of me right here. And then you want to go forward. And then up here, this is the Easter egg. There's going to be an Ewok here behind this hidden door right here, off to the left. <laughs> Look at him. That's it. Unfortunately, there's no achievement for this. They should have put in an achievement for this Easter egg, but there isn't one. I don't know why Night Dive didn't put it in. They actually, they didn't even put in achievements for any of the secrets either for some reason. There's some graffiti later in this level that references this easter egg. There's another secret like this again later on. I believe it's in Narshada level. There's another Ewok in inside a crate in that level as well. Look at him. I don't know why they made him all wacky like this. You can shoot the Ewok and if you do that, it'll actually show up as all charred like that. Like it actually got hit by blaster fire. So that's one of the Easter eggs in this game right here. Where am I at actually? I'll have to restart the level again though. Since I enabled those cheat codes, I won't be able to get any of the achievements in this level. I'll restart the level and cut back to that spot that I was in, which was that first secret area. Okay, we're back at the spot. Go ahead and take these guys. Whoa, that guy's going crazy. <laughs> Alright, just another stormtrooper right there. We'll go ahead and collect these thermal detonators again. And as we come out here, you'll notice this is where the Easter egg was at that I just showed you guys. And over there is the landing zone where we first came in on. As we make our way back, I'll go ahead and pick up these shields right here. And these shields, uh, I guess I don't need them. So we'll go ahead and make our way back here. It's pretty much the same way that we came in. So we make our way across this ledge right here. And then head over this way. There's a couple items over to the right right here. There's some enemies up there. I'm gonna use the blaster pistol to take out these guys up there. There might be some more up there. Fuck! All right, well, looks like we're down here now. It's all right. No, actually, this is good because I could show you guys what's down here. Got to throw a couple thermal detonators up there. I didn't want to come down here yet. You can come down here and pick up the items down here. There's a few enemies down here as well. You can get all the ammo from them and stuff. There's some shields right there. Make our way back up. And then we come out through a hidden wall right here, back to where we started. That's the landing zone right over here. And there's that first secret. So if you ever do manage to fall down there, you can make your way back up that way, up that elevator. Anyways, what I was trying to do is make a jump right here and grab these items. There's a couple thermal detonators up here, actually. Fuck! Damn. Ugh. 
see, the thing is, when you press forward, there's still some momentum left. And so you keep going forward in, a, in this game. Like, if you notice, I'll just tap forward and there's still a little bit of momentum after you stop pressing forward in this game. I don't know why it's like that. Uh, like in other game, first person shooters, that doesn't happen. Kind of weird. Anyways, we need to head through here and across this chasm. There's some enemies down there. You can go down there as well. There's some ammo right there. I'll probably get those items on the way back, actually. Yeah, there's a stormtrooper down there. Oh, shit. That thermal detonator just came up here when I dropped it down there. If you press the alt fire on the thermal detonators, it, they won't explode on impact. They'll actually be timed. Because in Dark Forces, all the weapons have an alt fire, and for the thermal detonators, it switches them to timed rather than exploding on impact. There's a couple more stormtroopers to take out up here. If you ever need to drop a thermal detonators down like I just did right there, you would use your alt fire button, which for me is a right mouse button, which is the default keyboard controls. We'll make our way up here this to the second secret. Actually, where you would normally go is right there. Uh, I forgot to mention. This is where you go to enter the uh, research facility right there to gain entry. But what we're going to do is grab a second secret. So we have the first secret. It says 19% secrets right there already. Now the second secret is actually at the back of the facility where you exit out after we make our escape. All right. Uh... What we need to do is just keep heading up this way right here and make our way. Yeah, there's some shields and thermal detonators right there. Make our way over here. Now this is the back of the facility right there. I'm gonna drop a thermal detonator on these guys. Oh, right in the middle, nice. All right, one more. Oh, that one's kind of far. Here we go. The second secret is actually up there where those stormtroopers are right there. There's a life up there. What you need to do is you need to grab this secret if you're going for all the secrets before you make your way out of the research facility because to make your way to that secret you actually have to go across the exit doors go across the exit doors right there this giant exit door right here that's how you get to the secret up there we'll actually be coming out through here later on after we get the sample of the metal if you didn't make your way over here before entering the facilities, once you exit the facility through these doors right here, you won't be able to get that secret. So you have to uh, get the secret before you enter the facility. Because, yeah, these doors right here that I'm standing on right now, these lower down as you exit the facility. And so you wouldn't be able to make your way up here to get the secret, which is that life right here. So now we got seven lives. That's 39% secrets. And we got three more secrets to go. Oh, there's the uh, exit lift right there. So we could just make our way right there. If you want, you can also come down here. This is optional. There's some enemies up here. There's really no items around here to pick up. This is where you would normally exit. This is where we make our escape after we get the sample of the metal through those doors right there. And we come down through here. This is the switch that opens that door right there.
you'll notice that once these doors are open, uh, you can't make your way across there in order to get that second secret right there. So that's why you want to do it right now before you enter the facility. Now we'll go ahead and leave the area right here. We'll go ahead and head back out and go into the front of the entrance. I guess if you could call it that. We actually make our way through like a secret air duct into the facility. Through this way. Up here. You want to jump across that gap right there. And then make your way along this ledge right here and we'll make our way into uh, air duct right here to infiltrate the facility. Actually, I think those doors, that's like the main entrance probably, not the back of the facility. Because right now we're entering through the air duct system over here. Oh, yeah, so these are the laser turns that I was talking about that are a huge pain in the ass in this level. I need to turn on my lights right here. We'll see some more of them here in the air ducts. There's a mouse droid. You'll get the achievement for shooting a mouse droid if you haven't already. You're shooting those. Look at my shields. Look how fast they deplete from these turns. It's ridiculous. There's also some night vision goggles right there as well. So if you haven't got the achievement for picking up night vision goggles, you'll get that achievement there. Along with another mouse droid right there. Go ahead and grab that battery. In order to make your way out of here, you'll notice that you can't just jump out of here. You actually have to hold down crouch and then press jump at the same time. If you just press jump without holding down crouch, you won't fit into this air duct right here. And we actually need to crouch even lower right here. I'll go ahead and turn off my light now that I don't need it. Make our way out here. There's a stormtrooper right there. I'll I should have held that thermal detonator down longer, but that's okay. Then we'll take out some enemies up here. Uh, yeah, there's a few up there. I don't know if there's any more. Just throw a thermal detonator up there, just in case. What? Where is he? There's also some around the corner here as well. I don't know if that voice came from up there or around here. Anyways, I'll go ahead and pick up some ammo right there. Now you want to be careful as you make your way up here. There are some gun turns off to the right right there. Oh! Yeah, I don't know if I killed... Oh yeah, there's some more guys up there. I knew there was still some more left up there. There's also a few enemies up here. What you really want to be concerned about is the gun turns off to the right right there. Um, you can soften them up a little bit using the thermal detonators. What I like to do is use the secondary fire which makes your thermal detonators timed rather than explode on impact and just roll a few over there. And this does... Oh yeah, if you notice right here, it says Ewoks suck on the wall right there. I think that's referencing that Easter egg in this level. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, it says it right here as well. On the left. I'll throw a couple more over here. These things are a pain in the ass. They take quite a bit to... Take quite a bit of shots to take out two. So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly make my way around the corner here and take these things out. See, look at that. Look how many shots they take. So now that we're done with those things, what we need to do actually is make our way through that door right there. But in order to open the door, the switch for that door is over here off to the left. And it's actually timed as well. So you want to hurry once you flip that switch. Want to run over here and through the door right here. Then we'll make our way up. Yeah, see? It'll close again after we make our way through there after a few seconds. 
we'll take out some more enemies as we make our way up here. There's going to be some more laser turns up here. Uh, I'm just going to slowly come around here. They're off to my left right here. There's some more up there as well. It's hitting me. Fuck! Mm. Shit. Look at my health. I'm already down to 27 and all my shields are gone. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about when I mentioned about always losing a life on this level. These laser turns are ridiculous. So I'm gonna bounce a couple more thermal detonators over to those turns. Oh, shit! I accidentally tapped the button on that thermal detonator instead of throwing it farther. Ah. One of those turns is already going crazy because it took a bunch of damage. Go ahead and take this guy out. Took one turn out. Another turn. Oh, yeah, I took all of them out. So those thermal detonators, they, they definitely help. And I got some shields, but I don't have any health. So this is going to be bad. Go ahead and take these guys out. I'm not certain where you pick up some health in this level. I know where you get some shields, but you don't really get much health in this level, unfortunately. So, I, there's some shields coming up here. I don't know if I should even pick up these shields, because I might die and I'll lose them anyways. But there's a room, whoa, a room full of shields right there, actually. Uh, but my health is at 11, so I don't think it's even worth it to pick these up. Because I'll lose all of them anyways once I die. So I'll go ahead and save those. And there's a room in here, actually. That's a door right there off to the right. Uh, we need a key card in order to access the door in there. So there's no point in going into that room yet. If you know the code, the key code that you get from the card, you could probably just skip this whole part right here and go directly in there and put in the key code. I could put it up on the screen, but there are some secrets that you would miss. We'll go ahead and keep heading this way down the hallway. There's another turret up ahead over there. Unfortunately, it's pretty high up on the ceiling. I won't be able to reach it with any thermal detonators. Unless I made the thermal detonator explode on impact, which if I do that, I'll have to hold it down, and I'll probably take damage from the turret. Oh yeah, the auto-aim just aimed at the stormtrooper rather than the turret. The auto-aim's kind of a pain in the ass in this game. So I was trying to shoot at the turret. There was a stormtrooper down there, though, and that's what it aimed at instead. For some reason, even though I was aiming up. I mean, that's okay, because he probably would have fired at me anyways. Here we go. Okay, go ahead and try to take out this turret. Alright. Wow, I'm down to five health. See, look at that. Those laser turrets also bypass your shields. They take a bit of damage off your health as well, because I just went from 11 to 5 health. That's what I was talking about. Alright, I think I'm gonna die here soon. Oh! <laughs> Uh, yep, fucking knew it. Good thing I didn't pick up the shields, because it would have been a waste of shields. Because I would have died anyways. Because my health was low. We'll go ahead and make our way left over here, because this is uh, actually where the third secret is at, around the corner here. And there's more gun turns down here. Fuck! So the room off to the right has a secret. The room off to the left, it doesn't have anything in it besides some stormtroopers. If you want to take them out and take their ammo. There's nothing else in here, so this room isn't really necessary. Other than the ammo that the stormtroopers drop. But this room to the right right here is where the secret's going to be at. 
And it's actually going to be a pretty good secret because you get the repeater rifle from the secret right here. We want to go up on this lift right here. Make our way through this door right here. There's a few gun turns in this room as well. This room is quite... It's uh, This room is a bitch, actually. There's a gun turn to the right and a gun turn to the left. Go ahead and take that gun turn out. And then this gun turn... If you keep moving, they're less likely to hit you. Yeah, I see. Yeah, my shields just dropped to 77. That's disgusting. They were at like 180 or something just earlier. I just lost 100... Uh, 100 points worth of shield. The secret is actually in the wall behind the rifle, but here's the repeater right here, which is an awesome gun. This is definitely gonna help in taking out the turns. It also has a secondary fire that fires three shots at the same time, which turns it into a kind of a shotgun, which is really good at taking out enemies in close quarters. I'm gonna just take out this house droid here. Running kind of low on blaster rifle ammo for some reason. I think it's from that last level because the the Anawat sewer level barely gives you any blaster rifle ammo, and I've been using quite a bit of um, blaster rifle ammo on those turns as well. We'll make our way back out here and head off to the left where I took out that one turn. And keep heading uh, in this direction because this is where that key card is going to be at that we need for that door. As well as another secret in this area. So we'll go ahead and take these guys out. Off to the right, right here. We want to go up these hidden stairs. There's going to be quite a bit of stormtroopers up here. I usually use a thermal detonator. Oh, he's really close. I usually use a thermal detonator and roll one out here to this group of stormtroopers. Damn, there's another one. Really close. Alright. Yeah, roll that out there to them. <laughs> Alright, that should be good. Should have took out most of them. There's still a few left. This room has uh, a bunch of stormtroopers. This is actually the exit out of the base right here that I was talking about that where we got that second secret that life the exit is out through this way up here if we come around this way we can get another repeater rifle up here if you didn't get one it's right there if you didn't get that repeater rifle from the secret in the previous room well actually the secret was the ammo behind the repeater rifle technically there's another repeater rifle right here. So we're, let me see, we're at 59% so far. This is gonna be the fourth secret right here. But there's a few turns right here. Fuck! Ah! Get some shields right here as well. These are the exit doors right there. We have to open these up using uh, another panel in the facility before we can leave. We'll go ahead and pick up some more thermal detonators and some repeater ammo. Let me see. We got one more secret to get right here. So we're at 79%. This last secret is down here where this mouse droid is at. You can shoot the mouse droid if you haven't gotten the achievement. We'll grab these shields over here. And the secret is going to be off to the left. Well, actually the panel that you need to shoot to open the door is off to the left. It's actually that door right there. In order to open that door, if you come around here and look through here, you want to shoot that circular, uh, red circular thing right there. And that will open the door. So now that door is open, we can come down here and get another repeater rifle. So if you didn't pick up one already, this is the third location for the repeater rifle. It looks like I'm full on that ammo. I should start using this thing because I'm, I'm actually full on power cells right now. Alright. We'll come up here. Up this lift. Yeah. 
this is actually where we get the key card for that one door that I mentioned earlier. It's right there on that officer. There's also a panel that will open those exit doors right here. So this is important for when we make our escape out of the facility. You want to hit this panel right here. That will open those two exit doors that we were at earlier. I'll go ahead and grab thermal detonators and some ammo right there. And there's the key card. You also get an achievement right there for grabbing that key card called Arabish, which I believe that's the name of the alphabet in the Star Wars universe. That's what it's referring to on that achievement. Actually, if you look at that key card, it does contain Star Wars letters. That's the alphabet that they use in the Star Wars movies right there. We actually need to input those three symbols in order to open a door. So now we head back to that door to input those three symbols, which was like a three, a triangle, and a D from what it looked like. We'll go ahead and make our way back here. All the way back down, um, down these corridors here back towards where we entered the facility but not that far back it's actually like right here yeah this is where the door's at i'm gonna go ahead and roll a couple thermal detonators out here there's gonna be some enemies around the corner here Stop where you are. <laughs> all right took out oh i took out all of them wow well except for that guy All right, this is where we input the codes right here. So it was like a three, a triangle, well, part of a triangle, and a D. There we go. We have some enemies behind this door right here as soon as it opens. And we're gonna head up here. We're gonna have to go into each of these doors right here, off to my right. There's a switch in each of these doors that we're going to need to get to and flip in order to get to the sample of the metal, which we're about to grab here. There's quite a few gun turns up here. Actually, let me switch to this gun. I'll go ahead and take these out. All right, one more. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. This gun makes it a bit easier to take these things out. There's going to be some more gun turns and some more stormtroopers around the corner here. I'm going to roll a couple more thermal detonators around the corner there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Then I'll go ahead and finish off these gun turns here. All right, there's gonna be quite a few enemies in this room right here that uh, contains a control panel that we need to get to. So I'm gonna roll a thermal detonator in here as well. Huh. It's a pretty uh, cramped room for them, so that definitely took out most of them, if not all of them, from that one thermal detonator. Oh, there's one guy that survived. All right, yeah, you don't have to worry about that gun turret because there's actually shielding on this window right here. There's like a force field. What we need to do is we need to uh, maneuver this walkway right there that I'm looking at around to each of those three doors right there in order for us to flip three different levers. In order to open this door right here, that's actually a door right there. And that will allow us to get to that sample, which is right there that I'm looking at. So we'll go ahead and flip this switch right here. This switch on the right will maneuver the walkway left to right. And this switch on the left will maneuver it up and down. We'll go ahead and flip it a couple more times. As you can see... We need to flip it enough to where, yeah, it's like in front of that door right there. 
So now we can make our way across that walkway right there. We'll go ahead and head down that way. I'm actually full on blaster rifle ammo for once now. I guess I'll go ahead and use the blaster rifle. It's There's just gonna be like some stormtroopers in here, so don't really need to use the repeater rifle. Oh, it's not necessary. So we'll go ahead and go through the door right here, flip this lever. And we need to do that two more times. Yeah, see, there's another one right there. And then there's a third one. We'll go ahead and make our way back up through this corridor right here. We need to go back and forth on these stairs three times to get all these switches. Flip this around. And then flip this lever. And we're gonna need to hit this lever quite a few more times. So it's almost there. One more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, it's in front of the door right there. Turn's kind of annoying. Anyway, we'll go ahead and go through this door right here. Make our way to the second door right here. There's going to be some more enemies in here, of course. These guys. Oh, there's like three of them. I should have threw a thermal detonator in here. Uh, that's okay. Go ahead and flip this lever right here, and we got one more to go. So we need to do that one more time for that door right there. Damn, they really have this metal well guarded, having to flip three different switches in three different rooms. Flip this one more time. And it's going to be that door that I'm looking at right there. So flip this once. Again. Almost. <laughs> the stormtroopers are trying to shoot me even though they can't hit me through this force field. Alright, one more time. There we go. Okay, now it's lined up with that doorway. We can head around here. Pick out these guys. Where are they? Go ahead and throw a thermal detonator around the corner there. <laughs> nice. Oh, I took out all of them. Alright. Flip that switch right there. We'll go ahead and head all the way up. And now that door should be open and we can go ahead and grab the sample of that metal. But before we do that, I need to flip this walkway around so that it lines up with this door right here. So we can make our way across and flip this. I think we just need to, let's see, one. And once it goes all the way up, I think that should have it lined up. Yep. So it's lined up. Okay. There is an enemy around these uh, stairs up here as well. Go ahead and grab these shields. Right there. And then, yeah, take out that turret as well. Ah! Come on! <laughs> Shh! <sighs> these turrets are fucked. Thank god we don't have to deal with them that much in the next level. I think there's only a couple in the next level. Alright, go ahead and grab the medal and we'll get the achievement for what the frick. Obtain a sample of the medal. Okay. Yeah, I just missed my opportunity right there to jump off this platform. Uh, let's see, where is it? It's gonna be off to the right right here. Yep. You don't want to stay too long in that stuff because it, it will deplete your health. It's toxic or whatever. If you skipped getting the keycard earlier and just put in the code, you can go and get the secrets right now. So we'll make our way out here. And now we just need to escape the facility. Just trying to think if I left any ammo around. Let's see. I think I left some ammo for the re repeater. I know I didn't leave any shields. I pretty much used all the shields that you can get in this level. Um, let's see, where is it? 
where is the ammo for this gun? No, I left some... I think down here? Yeah, down here in this secret, I think I, there was some... Let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, 494. Well, the max is 500, so that's close enough. Go ahead and come out here. Okay, and so now we can just make our exit out this way. Around this hidden entryway right there. Come out here. I already took out the gun turrets right there. Did I get all the... Yeah, I got all the ammo there. Those gun turrets are, have already been taken out. If you notice, this is where we were earlier when we got that second secret with the life up there. Yeah, I already picked up all the ammo here. So we just need to make our way through all these dead bodies that we took out earlier. Up this lift right here. And across these ledges right here. You could just run across this ledge. You don't even need to jump since it's so high. And you'll make it across right there. And then we'll just keep heading down this way. Oh yeah, I think I did leave some shields down here? I know I didn't pick up all the ammo. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Well, I'm maxed out on blaster rifle ammo, but if for some reason you need ammo, there's a bunch of it down here that you can grab. Oh, I know where I left some shields. Shit. I left some shields up there. Yeah, see? There's some shields. That's over next to that air duct where you first make your way, where you first make entry into the base. I already took out these guys, luckily, when I fell down here. So I don't have to deal with these guys again. It's like pitch black in here. All right. Later on, when you face the dark troopers and it's pitch black like that, it gets pretty unsettling. Speaking of which, the first one that we're gonna fight is actually the next level in the Gromis Mines. I'll make my way to that air duct. It's not too far, it's just across here and then up this way. Oh yeah, there's a shield that I left right there. Luckily, I need all the shields I can get. 116 and it's gonna be on off to the left right here drop down here grab that shield and I'm maxed out on ammo make my way down here again I think those are all the shields in the level pretty much uh, unless I left some shields where that first secret was at actually I think I did, now that I think about it. Let's see. So the first seeker is over here. And yeah, I might have left some shields over there. Go ahead and jump across here. Oh yeah, nice. A ton of shields. So I'm almost at 200 here. Good thing I came back here. And yeah, I already grabbed the shields right there. That's okay, because I'm already almost at maxed out anyways. Alright, good. Glad I grabbed everything. Oh, I almost didn't make that jump. That would have been bad. Right at the end of level 2. I already lost a life in this level, unfortunately. I would have had 7 lives, but that's okay. Yeah, those turns are a real pain in the ass in this level. Alright, so we'll make our way back to the landing area right here. The verticality of the beginning of this level does get a little bit confusing. It's kind of a maze out here, but once you get inside the facility, it's not too bad. There's a little bit of backtracking to get that key card and stuff. But overall, it's not as hard as some of the other levels later on. On to the next level, which is Agromus Mines. We get another new weapon in this level as well, the Juron Fusion Cutter. So that'll be in the next video. I hope that helped everyone out in beating this level. And uh, you guys take care.